Hi Ram dear children today i am teaching a wise crow class 1 english part 3 chapter 18 in part 2 i have explained to you about the story how the crow put the pebbles inside the pot and drank the water and also the moral that is what is that so we should not lose hope in any situation in life that was the moral in the story okay so this is exercise part so first question no first main that is rearrange the words and make meaningful sentences first question brightly was the sun shining you have to arrange the sentence in correct order to make sentence so try children the sun was shining brightly okay so second one question was was grow thirsty the now try making correct sentence children so the sentence is the crow was thirsty okay third question on sat eight a near house tree a so the answer is try try yes it sat on a tree near a house okay fourth one water found the it pitcher in so the answer is it found water in the picture okay so next is could not water it drink the you have to make the correct sentence try children so the answer is it could not drink the water okay so this is the correct sentence understood children you have to rearrange the words to form correct sentence so sixth one this is should we not hope lose any in situation life in so the answer is i'll give you one clue this is the moral of the story so can you tell now yes good children that is we should not lose hope in any situation in life okay so this is the moral of a story a wise crow understood children so this is the picture you can draw children draw and color it so here you have the clue that is circle the places where water is found okay you have to circle summary you have this is just a exercise part children so remember this is of all part that is you should know that crow was thirsty and it find the water in pitcher and by putting pebbles it can reach the water and drink it and the moral of the story is we should not lose hope in any situation in life so questions first question who was flying in the hot afternoon second question where did the crow 
reach. Third question, where the crow find water? Third question, where the crow find water? Fourth question, why did the crow became sad? Fifth question, how did the water in the picture come up? Okay, so this is our full lesson children. So find out the answer and write down. Okay, keep practicing. Thank you.